Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and a question that also comes with wireless casting of Windows screen and that is a question I get from time to time I got one today so a viewer is casting his screen on his TV and yes in Windows you can do that if you actually search for cast or connect to a wireless display even in Windows 10 you will have the option to connect to a wireless display. Smart TVs uh, can be used for this, but it depends on the smart TV. The technologies used in Windows are not compatible with all smart TVs. For example, here you see that I have my Samsung screen that appears. That can work casting my PC screen. And my other smart TV, which has a Chromecast, does not show up here as it's not compatible with the uh, casting of Windows. So if you don't see your screen, um, first of all, here are a few clues because the question refers to two different little things. First, why is it that one of my smart TVs is not visible? And of course, it's a different brand from the others, and that explains it. It's probably not compatible it just doesn't have what it takes to cast to it and not all smart TVs work with Windows um, sharing screen sharing wirelessly um, there are TVs that do others that don't here my Samsung does my TCL 55 inch does not the other thing that you need to know about casting and that's the second question is why is it that uh, it's all fuzzy so you're actually casting your screen but you know it's either fuzzy or very the the response isn't good at all um, and in this case it says the screen on a smart TV is actually so kind of um, uh, fuzzy that he has a hard time even reading what the text could be sometimes sometimes it is not sometimes it come it becomes kind of you know a little washed out a little weird and then it comes back what could be the problem that has to do with your network connectivity and that's very important your network for a good screen sharing or casting from Windows and any any device anyways if you take your smartphone for example you want to cast that smartphone to your smart TV requires really good internet not internet but good Wi-Fi connectivity so what that means is that you need a good router first of all some routers are really crappy at doing that job and don't work well mainly if you didn't pay uh, you know if you if you bought the cheapest router that you could find there are a good chance that it's not gonna work well routers are not all equal typically the more expensive ones are more powerful the other thing is the connectivity to what network you might have two choices which is 2.4 or 5 gigahertz when you want to cast a screen on a smart TV typically you'll want to use 5 gigahertz all the time that ensures that you have enough data going constantly for a very clear and very good streaming of the picture wirelessly from your laptop from your phone to the smart TV 2.4 is often to avoid because 2.4 is much slower and it happens more often that you'll either lose connectivity, have a fuzzy weird screen, or it will drop drop out, come back, drop out to a fuzzy screen, come back. So um, 2.4 is to avoid in general. And that means that your computer needs to have capability of 5 gigahertz. Your smart TV which most of them today have the capability of 5 gigahertz but your router also needs to be capable of doing 5 gigahertz so old routers might not work well also so these are all things that will actually make the screen sharing good or not and last but not least remember the further you are from your router from the wireless access point as the f you know as you go further away speed drops and that will impact the quality of the sharing of the screen these are all things to check out if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching